Hello everybody and welcome back to Shadow Tower. Last time we made our way through and we told Dibbik what for. One thing that really struck me about that was he yelled and screamed that help, I'm being murdered. Help, there's a murderer. And the dubbing makes it sound a bit more comedic than maybe it should be. And I think this is something we need to keep in our back pocket for later. Because yes, we did murder Dybbuk for no good reason other than he was kind of in the way. And I think that will factor into what the ending is going to be like. I don't want to say too much. Sorry. I don't want to say too much about what I think about the ending and what the interpretation I have for this game is. But if we don't, if we take what Dybbuk says much more seriously than perhaps the US dubbing allows, then I think maybe there's something there. So now we find ourselves in another region within the Earth region. And we had already killed one of the knights because he wouldn't stop grunting. And it was getting annoying and I was trying to sign off. So we did kill one of the knights and now we are in a new part of the earth region. So let's start exploring what we have. So we basically didn't beforehand. Always, if you're playing this alongside with me, always check your, your corners. So this should be the door we came in. Yep. And then this should be our save point that we were just at. Yep. And there is a very particular looking seam right in there. Probably a little bit more obvious than if you were playing on a PS2 because of how I up res PlayStation 1 games. But keep that in mind. We have a couple of openings in front of us. And that's going to be a pain in the rear. So let's start with here. Okay, so that's an exit. I don't think we need that exit yet. And here's a warp point, and I have no idea where we're gonna go with there. And I know I said in the last episode that we were going to do a quick audit, but since we have these acid people, I think we're going to take everything off and YOLO. Mostly because, like I said earlier, with uh, the poison cavern, acid does do a lot of damage to your durability damage to your equipment and so you might not want it on and that's probably for the best because i do mean to do a bit of an audit as to where we are placing most of our defenses Of course, this is going to leave us pretty
pretty vulnerable, but we're going to try our best. Let's see. We are going to use... Poison vaccine. Whoa. That actually scared me. <laughs> that actually scared me. So now you can see the effect all of my equipment had on our HP because we stripped out. We're only at like 1428, so that's the effect of weapons and armor. Oh, hello, snail. sword does very little damage against this here snail. And it's eating it up, so... Got another one. We'll be back. We're really just sweeping through here and trying to get rid of all of these pods so that we can put our stuff back on. Fancy. They love jo dropping Doritos ashes. There's even more. There's a sound I do not like. Okay, we're not gonna go there. That's a strange and suspicious change of texture.
same over here, but there's a cune, so we're gonna take that cune. We're gonna be kind of scared because there's nothing but blackness. Wonderful, wonderful. So this expedition... ...cost us nothing. In fact, we actually just kind of gained one. All right, let's save and then we'll decide on what our equipment is going to look like now. We'll use number seven. Let's start with armor and let's prioritize our our armor. Sixteen, fifteen, thirty-six. Large shield of balance, hardened shield. Too heavy. We'll go back to the large shield. Bracelet of And honestly, that's part of that's probably why the acid pods give out so many ashes is because they're if you're not careful, you are chewing through your your stuff. Hmm. So that's the probably the gauntlets we got off of that one snail and helmet. Bracelets, rings, okay, we're at 73.7 of 76. We might as well use one of these ashes. Gives a plus five. I'm actually look watching the HP. Just I had a feeling that maybe the armor, because it says of curing, is going to have an HP regen 
ability, but I don't think so. I don't see it. Unless it's tied to footsteps. Okay. Uh, let's take a, a potion. We'll save it one more time. And then we'll go back to where those uh, barrel snails were and see what that obelisk was. So one thing I don't think we've mentioned in even Abyss is I haven't really thought about the connection between armor and your health pool. And I know we've already spoken about how the only currency in the Shadow Tower that's worth anything is your life, really. And I think that's meaningful for how armor imparts stats and also life essence to your health pool. So I do think part of that is in armor. So... I wanted to see what the fancy acid pod was and the new snail so let's take a look real fast and i don't think we even looked at the the night so let's take a moment to read some new some new bits this is the crying root plant-like animal with human shape usually buried it leaps up when attacked and paralyzes with its voice One soul. Hmm. This is the Earth Knight. Earth Knight covered entirely in armor. It moves fairly well for its size and is well protected. Very accurate attack. And this is, I guess, the cannon snail. Slow like the barrel snail. It emits acid gas from its shell which is much more powerful than its cousins. Bit of spirit, some defense, a little bit of melting. Only 34% through the false pit cavern. Seriously, if you have the chance to play this game, play it with headphones. What am I stuck on? And this is the nothing room. And then... This is the suspicious room. But we're gonna hit up the snail room first. Okay, 
One second. Hopefully, I'll be able to put this on. Three sixty no scope right here. Watch out, esports coming for you. So we are where we want to be. Okay. Here's a question. I wonder if they are weak to piercing damage. So let's, let's switch to something that does pierce, which I think we still have a rapier. This one is being annoying. Ooh, some boots. Let's see what they are. Steel boots, steel boots have resist. They've just been sitting here for a while. They're probably just these steel boots. All right, so we have some writing and we have an obelisk. So let's take a look at the writing first. Here are Earth's bowels, born from rotten soil, and to rotten soil we shall return. We are trapped in this world of darkness. But if you recall, we did pick up something that was a fuel in this here Earth realm. So Let there be light, she says. Very cool how the entire world shifts when you fulfill that Hesitate to say puzzle. And here you can see where you would be kind of screwed if you didn't do your due diligence in exploring above and came 
tumbling down before you got that important crystal. So now we're going to save it. Go backwards. And now we're going to figure out what actually changed. I can just imagine just people getting soft locked in Earth World. And having to to go all the way back up somehow. Let's see if anything actually changed over here. Does not seem so, and that's still really scary, so we're not going to go that way. But this is the last path that we have to go, so... Let's take a look. Oh no. It's those guys. Definitely not hitting. Keep missing. Okay, so that's one. Oh, he dropped something. That's, that's unfortunate. But I was scared. So I cowered it out. Alright. Oh my lord. I am scared. It's a good thing we just saved it, huh?
the hell? There's something behind me that did that. Let's just keep going. Uh, let's switch our weapon. Oh, that's unfortunate. That was a bit of armor, and we did not get it. Boy, are they chewing through my anti-venom stores. The game's trying to throw me off. I don't get it. Uh I'm so I'm so upset now. I am hoping that they're not lost forever, but I'm assuming they are. All right, I'm going to try something that I've read. And so I'm going to uh I might die. So we're going to do a little bit of shenanigans. All right. Maybe not. But we are going to head back and, and save. There 
is one thing to be thankful about. Is that... This path is not invisible. Looking at you, Spriggan. path is, uh, intense. We're gonna go save. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you guys know where that was gonna go. I'm like, okay, that, that was intense. I'm gonna go save. trying to conserve my MP because I don't know what's coming up behind those doors. Okay, so what I'm looking for isn't actually here. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Well, let's see if we don't die. The number one rule for From Software Trust Falls is you're literally walking backwards off of a cliff. Right, so even more of our friends over here. Still can't really take them all that seriously. We're rewarded with a new bracelet. Hmm, okay. Let's see what it is. 
bracelet of recovery, bracelet of movement, bracelet of composure. We'll put it on. Can't hurt. Oh, stop it! No! None of that! Please! Oh, most excellent. Another shield. I'm ready for this to be a trap. Oh, it's not. Soul pot. What did I trigger? It feels like I triggered something. <laughs> you serious? Another ash just to bring our bow back up to somewhat normal. This whole section seems like it's a hidden section. So it's rewarding with three whole soul pots. Now, the real question is, how do I get out of here? Am I being forced to use a, a feather? Or is there a warp point around here? Uh, 
Um, okay. All right, so we are, we're moving. Let's go save. <laughs> I'll tell you, I am excited to get back to a smithy. Here our armor and all of that. So number four, we're keeping safe. So this is going to go to number three. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for us this session of Shadow Tower. We did quite a lot, actually, and I think we are nearing the completion for Earthworld. Let's take a quick look-see. Yeah, we're at 91% of False Pit Cavern. So we're pretty much done, which means we do have one more place to go, and then the next world is unknown. So I think that's going to do it for us today. Probably a bit shorter than we're accustomed to, but... I think we're going to hit up a boss very, very soon. So I want to set that for its own, its own session. So thank you guys very much for joining me. And I will see you next time on Shadow Tower. Bye, everybody.